Driving Ivan here, and I bought Charlie Sheen's Fiat. How do I know this? Let's find out. Well, if you've seen the commercial for the Fiat 500 Abart with Charlie Sheen in it, it's called House Arrest, and he's basically cruising around a mansion in the Abart version of this. It's all black, and... Uh, it's pretty cool. He's slip sliding everywhere and he's got a ankle bracelet on and then eventually he gets out of the car and says to a very beautiful woman in a cocktail dress, what do I get for bad behavior? And uh, so you'd think that they would have given Charlie Sheen perhaps an Abart Fiat 500. So why is this Fiat 500C Charlie Sheen's Fiat? Well, let's get into it. Well, you certainly can't tell by looking at it that it was a celebrity-owned car, but uh, it is a Fiat 500C, 2012 Fiat 500C. The C, of course, means convertible. Now, I'm not going to do a full review of this because I've already reviewed it elsewhere on YouTube. In fact, I reviewed all of the Fiat 500s, the Turbo, the Abart, and uh, all the iterations, so you want to see those Fiat 500 reviews, just Google Drive and Ivan and Fiat 500, or of course any other car. But back to this Charlie Sheen Fiat 500C. Well, you certainly can't tell by looking at it that it's a celebrity owned car or was a celebrity owned car. So how do you verify that the car that you think is celebrity owned is actually celebrity owned? Well, for me, I started with the owner of the local Fiat Alfa Romeo dealer. And uh, he was very kind to me. I gave him the VIN and uh, he verified through the dealer basically where it was delivered on the West Coast that yeah, it was. And the Carfax shows that it's a corporate car for Fiat. So that's good evidence, but it's not definitive. So I actually was able to track down, after a few calls, the dealership had moved and it wasn't in the same location. Then I had to make a few calls and I finally got to the right dealership, which was now in a different location. Um, Thousand Oaks, basically in California, the LA area. It's basically Simi Valley out near uh, Camarillo, I'd say in that direction, but probably about 30 minutes outside of LA downtown. And uh, the guy that answered, well, he had been with the company for a long time and was a manager. And he said that, yes, indeed, he was actually there. He did actually deliver it and made sure it got to Charlie Sheen. So I had absolute certain verification that this was indeed the car that Charlie Sheen received as partial payment for his great Fiat Abart house arrest commercial. Cool story. So when I went to get the car, it wasn't even advertised as Charlie Sheen's car. The sellers thought that would look bad and no one would buy it. But the story I got, and this is from the owner who got it from her brother who had it in Colorado and then it ended up in Virginia after that. But the brother worked in Hollywood and uh, he was working on Mozart in the Jungle and through a mutual friend knew Charlie Sheen and found out that he had received this car and uh, was not going to keep it. So it was sold to the person that I bought it from's brother who then moved to Colorado and then sold it to his sister where I got it. Winning! In terms of celebrity cars, well, it all depends on who the celebrity is. And some people say it doesn't make a bit of difference and other people sort of value that thing. I value that sort of thing. There's some guitar dealers out there that say, hey, a signed guitar is not worth any more than the guitar itself. But to me, that's not true. My Rickenbacker is signed by one of my favorite guitar players, Peter Buck of R.E.M. And to me, that adds value. 
and probably to many people out there. But, um, you know, did Charlie Sheen actually drive this car? Did Peter Buck play that guitar? Well, he held it while he signed it. I don't know if he played it. But um, that can be important, too. If it's a car associated with someone famous, then, of course, that definitely adds value if there's a story to it. But to me, I really like the story of Charlie Sheen's Fiat here for his house arrest commercial. The seller didn't want to share that information. She thought uh, at the time that uh, no one would be interested in a Charlie Sheen owned car, but to me, he's a great actor, and he's just been in so many classic, timeless movies for people of my age, and, uh, you know, that whole train wreck period, well, um, you know, I still watch the songify of Charlie Sheen, where he's banging seven gram rocks, and, uh, winning, I mean, I just think it's so entertaining, and, uh, you don't like to uh, sort of make fun of someone's troubled periods in their lives, but, you know, it's just all part of the mystique to Charlie Sheen. So for me, I really like driving the Charlie Sheen Fiat and uh, got a printout to show at car shows to tell the car's history, which is 100% verified and certified. And uh, so... I love Charlie here. That's what I call this Fiat 500. I call it Charlie. And uh, it just offers so much as a car. Fun to drive. Easy to park. Pretty good gas mileage. And, uh, of course, the Alfresco motoring. Anytime you want it. See? Woohoo! Yup, there you go. Let the sun shine in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Check out all of my other car videos. Just Google Driving Ivan in any car and you will find it. And also check out my disc golf videos. Literal video for Chris Isaac's Wicked Game. And uh, of course my music videos too. You want to see that signed Rickenbacker? I've got some REM covers on YouTube as well and so check those out and again like subscribe share and comment let me know what you think of Charlie here thanks for watching I'm driving Ivan